This particular question deals with a coordinate geometry curve sum. That means we have to find the equation of a tangent or a normal or the gradient of a curve, everything with respect to the curve. And the first thing that we have, we have some sort of a sketch of a curve and a line. And we have the equation y equals to x squared minus 1 by 3 x cubed. And we also know that the curve cuts the x-axis at the point A. And it also cuts at the origin. So this is what we know. So this is this is one point where it cuts, and this is another point where it cuts. Now the first question is we have to show that the point A has coordinates x equals to 3, 0. So that's very simple. That means when we put at A x equals to 3. So the y coordinate has to match, then it would be shown. So y equals to 3 squared minus 1 by 3, 3 cubed. So 3 squared is 9 minus uh, 1 by 3 uh, by 3, 3 cubed by 3 is 3 squared. That is also 9. That would be 0. So since when x equals to 3, y equals to 0, we can say a lies on the curve. Curve has a name, capital C. Question number B. Question number B says that we have to find the tangent. To show is basically to find. So let's find that. So question number B. First of all, remember we have to find the gradient and we have to know the point for finding the equation of a line. So that is the rule. So if you have to find the equation of a line, so you need a point. Suppose the point is x1, y1. This is the point, And we need to know the slope or gradient. And then we can know the equation of a line y minus y1 equals to mx minus x1. Now in case of a line that is a tangent to the curve, the gradient is the same as the gradient of the curve at that particular point known as dy by dx. So here in case of curve, this would be dy by dx which is the gradient of a curve at a particular point. Remember that. So this is going to be first of all if y dy by dx is equals to, so this is x squared, this would be thrice x, no twice x because it is 2. Twice x minus, so 1 by 3 is the constant, x cubed will have uh, the derivative of 3x squared. So this turns out to be twice x minus x squared. So at the point A, x equals to 3. So at A, x equals to 3. So dy by dx is going to be 2 into 3, 6 minus 3 squared, which is 9. 6 minus 9 is minus 3. That is the gradient of the curve at the point A. Now remember, dy by dx, 2x minus x squared is not the gradient of the curve. It's the derivative of the curve. There is a difference. Only when you point the value of the, put the value of the point, only then you get the derivative or the gradient of the curve at that particular point. So now we can write gradient of tangent is the same at that particular point, which is going to be minus 3. So equation is going to be y minus y1, since the coordinate is for the point A, so y coordinate is 0, and the gradient m is 3, x minus x1, x coordinate is 3, so it would be y minus 0 is y, minus thrice x, minus minus plus 9, and we have to show this expression y equals to minus thrice x plus 9, and that has been shown. So the next question is the tangent to c, c means curve, it is not a point, it is the name of the curve. The tangent to the curve C at the point A meets again at the point B. So that means, as you can see here, the picture is pretty clear. So this is the tangent. As you can see, this is the tangent. And you can see this particular tangent also meets at another point, point B. So we have to find the x coordinate of B. In order to find that, what we have to do is we have to solve the two simultaneous equations, as you know. The first equation is y equals to x squared minus 1 by 3 x cubed. This is equation 1. This is the equation of the curve. Now, the second one is y equals to minus thrice x plus 9. This is equation 2. And this is the equation of the tangent line. So let's find the point of intersection. Remember, one of the intersection is point A. We have to find the other one. So we will ignore any x value that is equals to 3. So by substitution, so y equals to y. So x squared minus 1 by 3 x cubed equals to minus thrice x plus 9. That means if you write, uh, let's rearrange this. Minus 1 by 3 x cubed plus x squared plus thrice x minus 9 equals to 0. 
Now, if you multiply both sides with 3, it becomes minus x cubed plus 3x squared plus 9x minus 9, 3 is a 27 equals to 0. Let's multiply by minus x cubed minus thrice x squared minus 9x plus 27 equals to 0. So if we take x squared common, it becomes x minus 3. If we take 9 common, it becomes x minus 3 equals to 0. So it turns out to be x minus 3 and this is x squared minus 9 equals to 0. So let's factorize this. x minus 3 by factorizing this by a difference of the square. So a squared minus b squared. So it is x squared minus 3 squared. This would be x plus 3 x minus 3 equal to 0. So what we get is we get x equals to 3 or x equals to minus 3 or x equals to 3. As you can see, two of the values are x equals to 3 and one of the values is x equals to minus 3. So the x coordinate of B, the point of intersection of the tangent with the curve, is going to be minus 3. So we can write, so therefore, B has x coordinate minus 3. The next thing that we have to do, we have to find the area of the region that they have given us. The region is shown in figure 5 and it is bounded by the curve and the tangent and we have to find the area. So remember this is a special type. It's a finite region bounded by the line and the curve. So this is the region. They have already shaded it for us. So for finding the area of a region bounded by a curve and a line, the first thing we need is the limit. So the limit is here, starts from the point B, which is minus 3, and ends at the point A, which is plus 3. So the limit is minus 3 to plus 3. The next is, you take the first equation, the line. So suppose the line is fx, so and the curve is gx, another expression. So you take fx minus gx since the curve is below the line and you do dx you do integration and that would give you the area of the shaded region so that's what we have to do so let's do just that so let's do d over here so the area of the shaded region would be from minus 3 to 3 so the first above Above the region is the tangent. So the equation of the tangent is minus thrice x plus 9. And the equation of the curve is x squared minus 1 by 3 x cubed. So we have to integrate this. First, simplify. Minus 3 to 3. So if we simplify, so it becomes minus thrice x plus 9 minus x squared plus 1 by 3 x cubed dx. Let's rearrange it. It becomes easier if the sum is in the most simple form. So 1 by 3 x cubed minus x squared minus thrice x plus 9 dx. Now we are ready. So what we can do now is integrate. So integration of the constant is 1 by 3. Integration of x cubed is going to be x to the power 4 by 4. Increase the power by 1 minus integration of x squared is going to be x to the power 3 by 3. Integration of uh, thrice x, 3 is the constant. Integration of x is x squared by 2 plus integration of 9 is 9x and the limit is minus 3 to 3. So let's simplify this. This is going to be 1 by 12 x to the power 4. This would be 1 by 3 x cubed. This is going to be 3 by 2 x squared and this is going to be 9x and the limit is from minus 3 to 3. So let's put the value of 3 here. So this would be 1 by 12, 3 to the power 4, minus 1 by 3, 3 to the power 3, minus 3 by 2, 3 to the power 2, 9 into 3. So that is the first one. Put the value of the upper value first. Minus, next we have to put minus 3. So 1 by 12, minus 3 to the power 4, minus 1 by 3, minus 3 to the power 3, minus 3 by 2, minus 3 to the power 2 plus 9 into minus 3. So the calculation would turn out to be, so 3 to the power 4 is 81. So 81 by 12, 3 cubed is 27, 27 by 3 is 9. 
3 square is 9, 9 3 is a 27, so this is 27 by 2, and 9 into 3 is 18, 9 3 is a 27, not 18, 27, minus, minus 3 to the power 4 is plus 81, so this would be 81 by 12, then minus and minus becomes plus, so minus 3 cubed is minus 27, divided by 3 is minus 9, then minus minus plus, Minus 3 squared is 9. 9 3 is a 27. So 27 by 2. Then minus and 3 into uh, 9 into minus 3. That is minus 27. So this would be minus 27. So that's what we get. So let's simplify this. First of all, we have 81 by 12. Minus 81 by 12. These two cancels off. Next, we have plus 27, this would ultimately be plus 27, they are both plus 27. So we have plus 27 by 2, minus 27 by 2, this cancels off. We have minus 9 and this would also be minus 9. So we basically have 27 plus 27 is 54, minus 9 minus 9 is minus 18. 54 minus 18 turns out to be 54 minus 18 is 36. So the area of the shaded region is 36.